Dawn Wings Necrozma and Dusk Main Necrozma are debuting in Pokemon Go. We get some new energy to fuse these Pokemon. We're also going to go over how to receive them and when we get to receive them. I'm Alex Gum, aka Cheek Lake. Welcome to Pokemon Go Ahead. We just got details about an update for Go Fest. Not only Necrozma is going to debut, but so will its fusions. We're going to talk a little bit about what fusion is, how we're going to fuse, and other things you need to know about fusion during Go Fest season. So before we dive in, subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about fusion in Pokemon Go. So without further ado, let's dive in to the details. So what is fusion in Pokemon Go? Pretty much it's taking two Pokemon, for example, Necrozma, and then either Soglale and Unala, and you fuse them together using certain energy and candy to get an exclusive form. For Lunala and Necrozma, you're getting the Dawn Wings form. And for Solgaleo and Necrozma, you're going to be getting the Dusk main form. So what energy and candy do you need in order to get this fusion? If we were to get Lunala and Necrozma to fuse, we need to have 30 Cosmo candy, 30 Necrozma candy, and a new type of energy called Lunar Fusion Energy. And you're going to need about 1,000 of that. We don't know exactly how much energy we're going to get per raid, but we're going to assume that in 5-star raids, you're going to be able to get the energy if you do a Dawnwing Necrozma raid, which I believe, by the way, it's going to be day two of Global Go Fest. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get some during in-person, but we have to look at the blog in a little bit more detail. Now, if you want to fuse the Solgaleo and Necrozma to get the Dusk main form, then you're going to have to have Solar Fusion Energy and then also 30 Cosmog and 30 Necrozma Energy or candy for Necrozma, excuse me. When you get these fusions, they will have exclusive moves. For the Dusk main form, which is with Sogaleo, it'll learn Sun Steel Strike, which is a steel type move. And it has 230 power in gyms and raids, which I believe is probably one of the biggest, most powerful steel type moves yet. Now, how is that gonna play out as a steel type attacker? I have no idea but I could assume it could at least be in the top 10. And if you are gonna have the Dawn Wings Necrozma, which is fused with Nunala, then you're going to have Moon Beam Geist, or Moon Geist Beam, what is it called? Moon Geist Beam? That sounds about right. That is a ghost type move, also with 230 power, and that is a powerful move right there. I don't know how is it gonna be as a ghost type attacker, but Nunala is pretty decent as a psychic and ghost type, so the fact that it's going to have an exclusive move with its more powerful form with Necrozma, it could potentially be up there, but we have to know its full moveset before we do the fusions. So we're talking about lunar fusion and solar fusion energy, but how do we get it? Like we stated earlier, you're going to have to do some Dawn Wing Necrozma raids and Dusk Nane Necrozma raids. And when you defeat them, not only that you're going to earn the energy, but you're also going to get some Necrozma candy and possibly some Cosmog candy as well. And like I said, this is most likely going to be during day two of the Global Go Fest. And you might be able to do some. I heard you have to do some research tasks for ticketed players in in-person locations so you get the energy early. And when that comes around, we're also going to do some raid guides on how to take down Necrozma. We're also going to do raid guides on Dawnwing Necrozma and Dusk Nane Necrozma. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Sendai Go Fest in Japan is going to be happening in a couple of weeks. And you need to be ready if you are heading to Sendai, Japan for this event. But since I'm not going to be going to any in-person location, I am going to be doing global. I'm mainly going to be playing in Reno during that weekend. So I'm going to be doing a lot of invites for all these Dust Main and Dawn Wing forms in the Krozma just to have the fusion energy just so that I can use them. And again, we want to know what the moveset is to see if it's going to be a good steel type attacker for the Dusk main and the Ghost type attacker for the Dawn Wings. Also, if you guys want a fresh reminder, Necrozma is also debuting in Pokemon Go in five star raids. It's going to be in all four locations. And if you're lucky, you may get a shiny Necrozma. But the question is, can you get a shiny Dusk main and or a shiny Dawn wing Necrozma? Well, we don't have confirmation that Cosmog and its evolutions can be shiny, obviously, but if you're gonna fuse a shiny and a non-shiny, can we get a shiny? Or are we just gonna compare positive and negative and just don't? Because that'd be kind of silly to fuse a shiny Pokemon and not have the shiny form. I mean, 
that's kind of dumb. But note to self that when you do a Dawn Wing or a Dusk Main raid, if you're doing day two of Global, it's going to revert to Necrozma. So this means that Cosmog is still going to be technically rare. And I think you could also get a Cosmog in a free special research if you bought the ticket for Global. Because then you have another one for Marshadow and another special research for Cosmog. So if you don't have Cosmog, you can decide on that. And in the past, we've been getting different Cosmog encounters. But, you know, you have to be lucky to receive it or at least played it earlier to receive Cosmog twice. Now, I was lucky enough to get a Sogaleo and Lunala. I plan on not transferring them because they are extremely rare as of right now. But when the Necrozma comes around, it's going to be common. We'll have a Hundo, maybe a Shiny, maybe this or that. And we'll probably just pick whichever best Necrozma um, to fuse with these exclusive legendary Pokemon. And that's pretty much the update. Fusions are going to debut. This new functionality is going to bring out a whole new world of Pokemon. We might see this with Kiram, Reshiram, and Zekrom. We're not pretty quite sure yet, even though they were accidentally leaked in the game back in December. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below about these fusions and where are you going to be playing during GoFest? Are you heading to New York? Are you heading to Japan? Or are you playing your hometown during Global? Let me know in the comments below. We will see you guys next time. Peace out.